or yesterday. We met yesterday and I asked everybody to, you can download if you go out to my website. Did you get to do that, Danica? So I went to the website and it said that I, you wanted my email and password. So I just didn't go that, I didn't go past that point. I should have, but I didn't. Yeah, that's how it's set up. So my marketing person set up all my, so all my worksheets are free, but you got to put in your pass, password and uh, whatever email thing. That's all your, and then you can download everything for free. I debated putting all my, mine also in a book so people could just buy it in book form, but I haven't done that yet. But I do have it, this, and then my worksheets are free out there. And that's how you get all my free worksheets. And the worksheets, of course, work well with the book, but it kept my book from being so thick with trying to put all the worksheets in the book all together, too. So that's how we ended up deciding to strategize and do the worksheet. So basically, my worksheets are going to be about ranking. I was telling you that, Laura, that there's six different areas of our life, I feel, and the more and more I sat down and was helping small to mid-sized businesses, like I said, I've done this similar to you, Danica. Um, my 23-year-old was born. Um, I had a 14-month-old and a newborn. And my 14-month-old, when he was seven months old, got injured in daycare, in in-home daycare. He got a spiral fracture from year to year. And I was system analyst for Sprint at the time. Loved my job, was really good at it. I would break everything. And it was a long distance division. I know nobody knows what that is nowadays. And my pager and my baby wouldn't go off at the same time. People don't know what a pager is either. Ha ha ha. But yeah, that was back in the 90s. And I was in a male dominating field and women weren't in that field. And so I had a, uh, a 10 year old, a 14 month old and a newborn. And so I felt like I had to choose between my career and my family. And I'm always like, why do we have to choose as women between our career and our so they were trying to get me to put him, put my kids in a sick, they actually had sick, uh, what is it called? Uh, daycare. So when your kid's sick, you don't need to stay home. Because back then we couldn't really work from home. They didn't let you do a lot of that. So um, anyway, so I felt like I'd choose between the two of them. And then, so I decided to stay home with my 23 year old and I thought I'd run my own daycare business. So I went to daycare connection and got all this training, but then I met these phenomenal people they knew how to run their daycare, but they didn't know how to run the business aspect of it. So I started helping them put together. I'd be like, if you have this software and you do this for your books and you keep this right for your business and you do that and you do, then your business will run more effective and efficient. And they're like, how do you know that? And I was like, how do you not know that? So I had that skill, right? That I could sit down and talk to people and figure out what their problems were and come up with these solutions. And then 9-11 happened and everybody's like, oh yeah, the economy plunged. Well, no, I was pregnant through 9-11 and I lost my brother in the Pentagon 9-11 and my brother was never identified. So that got dragged out six months. And so that caused, right, caused problems. And I'm just telling my story short, short story version. Um, but anyway, so then I have a newborn in the middle of 9-11. She was born January 22nd. She literally will be 21 on Sunday now. And they had to take her six days early C-section. She was due on the 28th because of all the high risk, you know, all the stuff that's going on. And then my brother was buried March 11th in Arlington. So um, we couldn't fly his, her, uh, his uh, memorial here was at Hope Lutheran on January 11th. So anyway, so I had all these memorials too through my brother's death, which was a lot. Um, and then shortly after that, we got ripped off in a house that had statue botrys mold, which is that black mold. You should never buy a house a month after you just put somebody right so we bought a house April 2nd that turned out to be a bad house out in Linwood Baser. So my daughter turned blue and uh, twice, newborn baby, 10 weeks old. And anyway, it was a lot. And she ended up two weeks, I mean, two years in children's mercy on and off with really bad asthma. And so we're lucky 10 times over. I told you she was my bonus child. God's like, you want this kid or you don't? <laughs> no, but anyway, uh, so she's very resilient. Um, and then, of course, she didn't have a graduation from Shining Northwest because 2020 happened and she that wasn't fun for her either. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to pause this. I some reason have Chuck calling. I don't know if he can't get in. Hold on.